What's going on, guys? Fully from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. We got JT. You're actually from Fitment Industries. Fitment Industries. Yeah. yeah. And uh, JT, how much do you know about trucks? Jack. Sh yep. So here we go. We're gonna jump into another episode of From the Gallery. Rate again a scale of zero to ten. Ten being the best. Zero being oh, do we usually do zero or one? I don't know. Low numbers not so good. Ten numbers obviously the best. Okay. All right, 2018 F250 Super Duty Fittipaldi Off Road FT11, 24 by 14, negative 76. Uh, some material Trailblade Boss tires, eight inch Rough Country kit, and then added uh, some airbags. That makes a little more sense. Is that, okay. So it's like an air cup kind of an coil over? Or? Yeah, so like in the back they'll add helper bags. So like if you're towing. If you're towing, yep. yeah, okay. Pretty mean truck. These actually look like. Yeah, that thing's beefy, it's huge. So the front has like over fenders on it. Okay, um, yeah, it looks a little bit like a Raptor almost. Yeah, but F-250, so it's just massive. So it's got like a, like Fiberworks uh, bed sides and front fenders on there. So yeah, like a like a pre-runner or off-road truck, like a Raptor or something okay. like that. Okay, nice. I've seen enough photos, I can give it a number. Yeah, All right. definitely write that. Uh, three, two, one, Eight. nine. Yeah, pretty high up on here. Uh, pretty much everything on the truck's been touched. It's got a cool little like half wrap job going on. The grill, the bumpers, Fittipaldi makes some killer wheels that are uh, awesome. So yeah, I don't yeah, know, it's a good I mean, truck. Yeah, the whole color scheme flows really well together. It's big, looks mean. Uh, I like the front grill, the LED bars up in there. Yeah, that that's looks nice. pretty good. And then, I mean, I don't know exactly what you call it. I mean, I guess it's just a front bumper, but yeah, that's huge and aggressive. So that looks pretty good with the whole whole style of the truck. Yeah, there's a lot going on here, and it's slightly confused. I'm not sure who would have added the truck because it has like king coilovers, but it says it has an eight-inch rough country lift, but then it also has air suspension. There's a lot going on with the suspension <laughs> in this truck. 16 Sierra 2500 HD, specialty wow. forged. Dude, these wheels are, so it's 10 grand for a set of these wheels wow. in the 28 okay. by 16s. So this guy's not playing around. No. Fury uh, Off-Road Country Hunter MT is a very popular tire for some show builds, and then a custom lift uh, from Stryker that's greater than 12 inches. Wow. We got yeah. a lot going on here. You can just tell how much work went into this, man. Like when you see all yeah. this stuff. Like, like all the accent pieces yeah. are all done in, in like color match to the truck. It has 80 rock lights on it. That's a oh lot my God. of lights. Wow. That's crazy. You see that thing from space. <laughs> yeah, right? And then sword hydraulic shocks, which is an important thing to mention. So you can go anywhere from 14 to 20 inches of lift on this thing. So A lot of adjustability. Yeah. All right. Let's go for it. All right. Three, two, one. Nine, nine and a half. I only took off half a point because the, uh, I'm not a huge fan of this like dragon theme. Yeah, and delivery it's, did not. It's kind of throwing me off yeah. a little bit because then you got this big dragon on the front of the truck. Um, but, you know, it's all personal preference. Yeah. If that's what you're going for, own, he, yeah. he pulled it off, that's for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, if you like it, send it, but it's not for me. <laughs> oh. Ah, the, the old branded, branded title, title boys. boys. Uh, 17 Toyota Tacoma. So this thing was smashed. Anthem Intimidator, yeah. 17 by 9, negative 6. Uh, Pro Comp, 31570 tires and a 5 inch rough country lift. This also has, it's like impossible to tell. This is what I hate about this truck, is this has RK Sport wide body kit. So front fenders, the, yeah, the back it's, bed sides. It's done really well. It looks like factory. Um, but. Yeah, but until you see it in badass, person. Dude. Mm -hmm. I think the Anthems work really well on there. It's like they a do. good fitting wheel. Yeah. It's like minimalistic, but you got a beefy tire on there. Yeah, so yeah, just, three fifteen seventy. It just screams off road. You know? That's a big tire for yeah. a little tiny Tacoma. It's a pretty slick truck. If you guys haven't seen, they did a whole rebuild on this, so it's on the branded title YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Let's give it a number. All right, three, two, one, eight one. and a half. No, just kidding. <laughs> I give it an eight as well. Um, Super sweet. Literally the only thing that I would ever want to change on this truck might be the suspension because it's just a standard lift kit at this point. Jumping mm -hmm. to like mid-travel or long travel, something like true off-roady would be, yeah, uh, something would let's just make it. Up in the air a little bit, maybe like some fat mud tires on there. Yeah, yeah, because be these cool. are kind of just like all-terrain tires. If you switched out something a little more aggressive, I think it would mm -hmm. fit the rest of the build of the truck. Yeah, absolutely. Dang. Oh, throwing it back. Old school. 97 F350, uh, another Fittipaldi truck, Fittipaldi FT07, 26 by 16, negative 101s. That's a crazy offset. What's the offset negative on your car? Negative 101? Yeah. Offset on my car? Yeah. Like plus 38. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Interco Sniper, 44 by 18 and a halfs. 
and a, a custom uh, lift, which is probably like two feet or more. It's huge. Absolutely massive. I can't even imagine putting flares on a car to fit a negative 101 offset wheel. The that's whole thing. It would be like sticking like this yeah. far out from a yeah, car. That's It'd be ridiculous. Insane. I like the paint job on here. It's kind of like, yeah, it's it cool. keeps it kind of like, retro. It, it looks like period correct. Yeah. 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 It's almost like, I mean, obviously it's repainted and it's fresh, oh, yeah. but like it looks like it could have been like on the car for years. Right. And just kept truck like for that. Years. Yeah. Wasted wages. Name of the name of the truck. That's fitting. Nice. I like the wheel finish. So they got like some of the body color in the wheels. But then okay. it looks like brushed. Yeah, like, like a brush barrel. barrel, yeah. Which is pretty slick. Yeah, yeah I prefer that still. to like a like a polish. Like it's, I think that fits a truck so much better. Some cars pull off like the polish lip so well, mm -hmm. but I like the brush finish. I'm a big fan. I think especially on like this older truck, like I think polished wheels It'd might not over, have fit overkill. as well. Yeah, yeah cause but like, I love the little subtle hints of color matching here. Yeah, it looks like you could take it to like a monster truck rally and go jump yeah, this thing. Yeah, you, yeah. you don't necessarily want like chrome all over it. You know? Yep, hundred percent. All right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Nine eight. and a half. Nine and a half. That's pretty high. I like high. that one. That one's badass. That almost got to a ten there. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I like that they kept like the whole classic feel to it. Um, I really love like the body color accents in the wheels. Um, the bumper, like it's like like that copper color. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. Like I said, don't know really about trucks, but I like that one. <laughs> That's all that matters. 18 F250 Super Duty. So this is another one that looks like it's got some aftermarket front fenders on there to go yeah. really wide. Oh yeah. Uh, gear forged. Wow, F72 BM1. It's a very specific name. That's sick. He's got a picture of a dude oh, on a, a dirt dope, bike yeah. jumping. Hey, step your gallery picture game up. Yeah, right? Get some dirt bike jumping. We want every out. single person better have something flying over the truck. Very simple design, really. So he's got aftermarket um, bedsides, too, to okay. match the front fenders. But really, even though it's forged wheels, like everything's yeah. everything's very simple and kind of minimalistic. I like it. It's, it's all clean. black. Yeah, less is more sometimes, guys. Mm -hmm. Especially on a black truck. And I like oh, how yeah. he's got all the sponsors listed down the door. It's like a like yeah. a race car. Yeah, that's a super dope. Like too fast, too furious yeah, touch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, tinted out windows, black everything else. Mm -hmm. Stock taillights, kind of surprising, but yeah. Yeah, maybe like a little bit of vinyl wrap on those would go a long way. Doesn't have to be black necessarily. The smoked would look good. Yeah, smoke would be um, nice on there. And then, just because they're so bright in yeah. comparison to everything else, they're so red. I think another really cool touch too is I've seen a lot of guys here with like some pretty crazy hitches. Yeah. If you could get that black with like machine oh, details, sure, yeah. that would be badass. That would match the wheels and set it off. I think. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, nine. nine. This yep. thing's sick. I love that people are taking these Super Duty chassis and like making it into a Raptor-like vehicle. Yeah. It's wide, it's that's got awesome. kings, like that's sweet. Um, front bumper on here is nice. Uh, mm -hmm. I would, like I said, I'd probably throw some smoke vinyl on those taillights. Yep. And I'm actually not a huge fan of the grill on here. I actually kind of like the stock grills that come on here if you get the stock black one. Yeah, is that like similar to like the Raptor one where you got Ford all the way across? You can letters? get them like that. I like that. Yep. that. That would probably be my go-to. But he's got like he's got an aftermarket hood too. That's probably the RK Sport hood. Okay. There. So like he's got a lot done to this. But I think the wheel mm -hmm. selection was good. So he's got that. Uh, yeah, I like the directionals. Yep. That looks and nice. then just a little bit of milling on there to kind of tie in. Like he's got the chrome logo and the chrome headlights, so mm -hmm. it kind of pulls everything together. Overall, the whole flow of this truck's really nice. Yeah, I would agree. 16 F150 K2 Off-Road Warrior, which uh, is a wheel that probably not a ton of people have heard of, but 20 by 12s are only like 1,200 bucks. Amp train attack ATs, 37 by 12 and a half, and a six inch rough country lift. It's pretty mean looking. Yeah, I like that body style a lot. Yeah. Those headlights are pretty These headlights aggressive. are sick. These yeah. are, I, from what I remember, these are called Morimoto headlights. Okay. And they are insane. We have a set of these and they're just like, they're awesome. Yeah, they have like the, uh, you know how Acura has like the, yeah. ju the, jewel, the jewel headlights? headlights. They're, they're like a similar style to that, but like you can't make that work on a truck, so it's no, gotta be right? different, yeah. I've actually seen people take those Acura headlights and retrofit them into, like there's a guy on this BMW page that put it in an E46 headlight. I've seen some in a an, uh, WRX hatch too, that's and it dope. looks killer, like all the way down the headlight. So back to the truck, color match bumpers, aftermarket taillights. Yeah. Um, Big those headlights are pretty sick. Those are sick. And I'm a huge fan of the color match bumpers. Yeah. I, I'm not a, a big chrome guy. No, I like color match. And yeah. especially on this, like, gray, like, it looks really nice. Yeah, that's great. Blacked out the awesome. emblems, yeah. blacked out the handles, black tint. Yeah, pay attention to the Clean. details and it shows. Clean. Yeah. All right. Ready? Uh, yeah. Three, two, one. Nine. Eight. Yeah, I was kind of on the verge of going higher, but just comparing it to the other trucks we've seen. Yeah, it is, it is hard to uh, give that a nine, but 
like I said, like every detail, it looks like it was paid attention yeah. to. Like, this was done very well. Yeah. You know, I think paying attention to the small things is really what makes these trucks. Because and it didn't go overboard. It's so easy to do too much. It is. And yeah. then like you're just throwing parts on there, but mm -hmm. this is yeah. Anybody uh, can throw parts at a truck, clean. but to like make it look like a complete piece, I think he killed it with headlights, tail lights, yeah, uh, the paint on the bumpers. For sure. It looks for nice. sure. All right, guys, that's another episode of From the Gallery. Hopefully you like those. If you want your vehicle rated, you can add it at customoffsets.com forward slash add. Otherwise, if you don't know what the gallery is, we've got all the specs that you need to know to figure out exactly what fits your truck. That's it. Peace. Peace.